This, probably the most important map on this video. <laughs> this is a good, this is a good map right here. So, 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 so accurate, this map. So, so accurate. The most accurate thing I've ever seen. What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, that means you're new here and that means you haven't watched my videos before, so what are you doing? You should have been watching my videos for a long time now, so I'm not even going to introduce myself. You should know me. You should already know who I am. And if you're new, go away. It's too late. It's too late. Only the people that are already subscribed can watch my videos, so if you're new, go away. Just kidding. Everyone's welcome. Anyway, I really like maps and geography. I'm really into all that stuff. Um, and so I follow a couple geography maps accounts on Instagram. And there's this one cool account called Fan Maps. And they posted this picture or series of pictures, basically, which was a bunch of maps. So it's a series of maps and it's called the Atlas of Prejudice. And it's 20 ways to tear Europe in part into different like stereotypes. And I think it's actually a book. I'll put whatever information I can find about this in the description. But today I wanted to look at some of these stereotype prejudice maps of Europe because I've been living in Germany and I've been traveling around Europe a bit. And so I think this could be pretty fun for me. Plus I love maps and stereotypes. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. All right, first map, number one. Euphoric, melancholic, depressed. Yeah. All right, definitely these countries around the Mediterranean are euphoric. I don't know what it is. All the people that live down south there around the sea just seem to be really happy and love life. Melancholic, hmm. I don't know. Yeah, as you get further north, people seem to be a little bit more sad. See, I don't get this, depressed. See, on all these like world happiness report index things, like Finland and the Scandinavian countries are the happiest people in the world. But then I see all these comments saying that there's like very high suicide rates there and people are actually depressed and there's no sun and blah, blah, blah. It's really cold. I've actually been to Sweden and Norway and they were lovely countries and I felt happy there. Basically, so basically the further north you get, the more depressed you get. And the further south you get, the more euphoric you get. It's got to have something to do with the sun. Next map, classical, modern, meh, that's not very interesting. Sunny, cloudy. You know what, it goes from sunny to cloudy in Germany in about five minutes. <laughs> Tomato Europe and potato Europe. Up north in the yellow, you got your uh, potato people. And then as you move further south, down to the Mediterranean in Italy, my country, you get into the tomato people. And I'm a tomato person. This, probably the most important map on this video. You've got your wine Europe, your beer Europe, and your vodka Europe. And all right, vodka Europe over in the east, kind of Russia, Finland, northern areas. Yeah, that makes sense. It's definitely accurate. Wine Europe, southern Europe, Italy, Spain, France, yeah. See, all right, this little yellow slice of beer Europe. Hmm, all right, that kind of goes through Czech. And I know Czech. The Czech Republic actually drinks the most beer per capita in the world. It's not Germany, which surprised me. This seems to cut right through Germany that like half of Germany, Southern Germany is considered wine Europe. I disagree. I strongly disagree. Is that true? Does Germany have like a, a decent wine culture? I feel like I never hear anything about German wine, just German beer. UK, Ireland, beer, definitely. Absolutely. So fairly accurate, although I'm just not sure about the wine Europe splitting right in Germany. I think that's wrong, but I don't know anything. This, this, very, very, very accurate. You got your tea Europe and you got your coffee Europe. Most of the continent is coffee Europe because coffee is way better than tea. And then of course you've got the UK and Ireland, tea Europe. They love tea over there. My friend Ben, who's from Ireland, he lives in the UK now, we'll go over there. They're drinking tea all day, never coffee, it's strange. Although I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Coffee's way better. All right, this one's pretty literal. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. Yeah, you got your Orthodox in the East. You've got your Pratties. Although there's a huge 
divide in Ireland between Catholics and Protestants. I actually got really into that whole history when I went to Ireland and then went to Kilmainham Jail in Dublin and learned about all of the fights and the troubles in the 90s um, that went on between the Catholics and the Protestants. So super interesting history in Ireland between Catholics and Protestants. Then Germany, it's got uh, Northern Germany, you got your Protestants as you move further south. You got your Catholics, Bavaria full of Catholics, Italy, Spain, Catholic, France, hold on. Isn't France like the most non-religious country? I feel like I read that. I feel like this is inaccurate because I'm pretty sure that, mm, that France is not very religious. Again, I know nothing, so. <laughs> Rich, poor. Yep, this, quite interesting. You got lazy and then you've got hardworking. And essentially, as you move north, the people become more hardworking. As you move south, the people become more lazy. Um, yeah, I would agree with this. Something about that, uh, that lifestyle down around the Mediterranean. My two Italian roommates are out there. Also, I'm Italian, but not a bad way. It's not, I don't, I don't know if lazy is the right word. I think just, just chill and able to enjoy life is a better way of describing it. Another word would be lazy. <laughs> so, 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 so accurate, this map. So, so accurate. The most accurate thing I've ever seen. Good cuisine, bad cuisine. Amazing food in Southern Europe. Spain, Italy, Germany for the most part until you move to the north. France. And then you move up north. And these countries have, have the worst food ever. I love the UK, I love Ireland. What, what are their traditional foods? Nothing. I was in Norway and Sweden. Amazing countries. The food sucked. They have nothing good. Yeah, and definitely as you get further, you know, north and east, I can't imagine there being any, any good food up there. This is very accurate. <laughs> this, is a good, this is a good map right here. All right, you've got your deafening, you've got your loud, and then you've got your quiet people. The quiet people are up north, and in the middle of Europe, you've got your, your loud people. I'd say loud is kind of just normal, you know, talk normally. And then as you move further south, you get into southern Italy and Spain and Greece. My two roommates last year, Mario and Daniel, Spanish guys. Love you guys. Shout out to you guys. But you guys were so loud, even when you're just talking on the table. Screaming. Seems like you're fighting even when you're just talking. It's, a, it's, it's just a passionate, passionate speakers. I think that's what it is. Very good one here. People who work 21 days per year. People who live 21 days per year. This is kind of along the same lines as hardworking and lazy, I think. And this one splits right kind of down the middle of Germany. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever like heard that perception that, well, I guess everyone hates on Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg, but that Southern Germans don't work as hard as Northern Germans. Hmm. I do not know. <laughs> people who need a plumber and people who can fix their own sink basically just Eastern Europeans can handle themselves. Everybody basically from Poland over needs to call a plumber. Pathetic. I would definitely need a plumber. People who eat walking and people who eat sitting. This seems to be like a continuous um, stereotype here. That basically people in the North don't really know how to enjoy life as much as people in Southern Europe. It's a stereotype, but it seems like it's true. Again, I think it's that whole, Living around the Mediterranean, around the mountains, around the Alps, that just helps you kind of slow down and enjoy life. And sit down and enjoy your meal when you eat instead of just grabbing food and going. Last one, religious Europe and atheist Europe. This I actually don't know too much about. And also, I don't really... All right, that green, is that Poland? I think that I heard that Poland is like a super, super Catholic country. And again, I thought France was like super atheist, so I don't know if that's true. I know Italy is very religious. Ireland, I'm pretty sure, is pretty religious. A lot of Catholics up there and Protestants, so I don't know how uh, accurate this is. But So that's the last map. But obviously, these are just stereotypes. 
But um, this is pretty fun for me. I like looking at stuff like this, especially since I live in Europe and now I've traveled around to some of these spots and have experienced some of these places and can uh, confirm or deny some of these stereotypes. All right. So let me know what you guys think. I hope I didn't make you mad or offended. If I did, that is all for me for today. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.